Good morning, Mary Bethune. I am going to be reading chapter 17 to you today from Finding Langston. I waited for daddy to give me a good whooping. And when he didn't do that, I waited to hear him yell. He didn't do that neither. He sat me at the table and did something I never seen him do. He looked at me in the eye and said, we are gonna talk man to man. It'd be a lot faster if he went on ahead and gave me a whooping. You know you can't go fighting your way through life. Colored man got a whole lot of hurt they facing every day. We fight everyone. We're not gonna fight. We're not gonna get anywhere. Bible says we, daddy, I wanna stop him before he gets too deep into the Bible. I know I ain't supposed to be fighting, but Lyman just keeps at me. You're responsible for you. Your teacher said there was a book. I told Miss Fulton I'd tell daddy about the library. Might as well go on and do it. I found a library near the school, Hall Branch over on Michigan. A library? He don't yell, so I keep going. Libraries ain't just for white folks. They li this library is for residents. That means any folks that live in Chicago. I know what a residence is, son. Anyhow, I go there after school sometimes and get books. Thought you'd been playing with some boys after school, Daddy says, leaning back in his chair. They don't like me here, Daddy. And it ain't just Lyman, it's everyone. Maybe you need to stop going to the library and find some boys your age you can play with. You shouldn't be sitting up in a library every day. Library is the only place in Chicago I wanna be, I tell daddy. Daddy thinks on a minute. Why, he asks. It's as quiet as Alabama. The librarian, Miss Cook, she's real nice. She picks out books for me too. I pull my books out of my satchel and hand him the weary blues book. What's this, daddy asks, turning the book over in his hands. I found this in the library, a book of poetry by a man named Langston Hughes. He's a colored poet. Daddy still turns the book over in his hands like he don't quite know what to do with it. Remember how you and mama used to dance sometimes to the blues, I ask? His lips turn up at the corners a little bit. Daddy, the library has all kinds of books and these books by Langston Hughes remind me of home and mama. How's that, daddy asks, serious, still looking down at the book cover. Because he writes poems about being colored and living up north, but missing the south and feeling lonely. Miss Fulton likes his poems too. Listen, son, I don't know anything about Langston Hughes and I sure don't know anything about any poems. Only Langston I'm worried about is the one sitting here in front of me. We're quiet for a bit. Can I read you one, I ask? Read me a poem, daddy laughs. Just one, I say. Sure, go ahead and read me a poem. I try to remember how Miss Fulton read the words slow and strong. I open one of the books and start. The railroad's br bridges, a sad song in the air. The railroad bridges a sad song in the air. Every time the train pass, I want to go somewhere. I stop and look at daddy, but daddy's just looking at his hands. I keep reading. Homesick blues, Laud, a terrible thing to have. Homesick blues is a terrible thing to have. To keep from crying, I open my mouth and laughs. Time I finish and look up, daddy is just sitting quiet. Sounds like a lot like the blues, he says finally. Yup, I say, but don't it might remind you of back home? Your mama, she was smart too. Head was always in a book, daddy says, chuckling to himself. Mama likes, mama liked to read? Sure she did. She never got as much schooling as she wanted. After her folks passed, she moved from kin to kin and couldn't stay in one school long enough but she had an aunt, I think her name was Genevieve, called her Aunt Jenny, lived up in Ohio and would check in your mama, check in on your mama whenever she came back home. And she always brought your mama books from up north. Tried to make sure she kept up her learning. First time I saw your mama, she was reading, daddy looks away for a minute, then goes on. Then we got married. We had all we could do trying to keep up with planting and keeping house, and then you came along. Wasn't no time for books. 
I think of the letters in the box under the bed. Did mama like poetry? Don't think she knew much about poetry, but she liked to write. I can feel the heat rise up to my face. Some secrets ain't worth spilling. Look, son, daddy stands up. Tomorrow you're gonna go and say you're sorry to this boy Lyman. Yes, sir. He bothers you again, you walk away, understand? Yes, sir. What about the library, I wanna ask, but don't. Lyman don't scare me near what he used to. We learned a lot about each other in the schoolyard today. Only thing scares me is bringing a ripped up book back to Miss Cook at the library. Thank you for listening. Have a wonderful day, Mary Bethune.